Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Stone Shard, a roguelike, open-world, turn-based-ish RPG, which... This is not a new game. It came out a long while ago in early access, yet at launch it had a couple issues that kept me from being able to really want to dive into the game, chief among them being a, a very poor save system, so you basically had to play the game for hours and hours at a, at a time, or you would lose all your progress, like there was no way to save and come back. That has been rectified with a new update to the game, and as a result, I am excited to finally check it out and see what's up. It, it is almost near the 1.0. I believe this is the final update before it's 1.0. So this is kind of like a test run to see if I might be interested in doing a series once the game hits that release, that 1.0. All right, let's go on in. Uh, I've heard this game is brutally tough. Like, Damn it. brutally tough. Where am I? You are awake, just in time for the ritual. We'll have a use for you, so very soon. Don't try anything funny, or you'll end up like one of your friends. Perhaps I should check on him again. All that fresh blood, I must have drained by now. Oh boy. Curses. Doesn't look like we won that fight. <laughs> I do, well. I need to get out of here before this bastard returns. Hmm. Looks like my shackles are rusted to the core. All right. Open your inventory with I. Here you can manage your equipment and move items. It can be done by a number of ways. Using your mouse to drag an item or by choosing a corresponding option. In the context menu, summoned by right mouse and by or by pressing alt left mouse. Remove the shackles to free yourself. I see. Oh, that's clever. Okay. I like the, that. I mean, I'm glad that that was just uh, how difficult they were to remove. We just had to, you know, remove them. That was the only thing keeping us, <laughs> keeping us, uh, you know, in them. We just didn't try yet. Poor Examine Locke. the cell. Your bad feeling was spot on this time. They didn't search him. Bad move. No offense, buddy. But you won't need all these things anymore. Okay, I mean, this makes sense. Hover over. What do you got here, buddy? Water skin, thirst, minus 25%, intoxication change down? Seemingly. Bread, hunger, hunger down, but thirst up. Okay. Can we, like, shift click? Yeah, we can. And some lock picks. Convenient. You're suffering from hunger and thirst. The stronger they are, the worse your overall condition is. To sate them, hover over your food and water. Okay. Eat and drink. Eat. Drink. Where does it say our hunger and thirst? I... Gonna assume... Yeah, I, I have no idea where it, where it says that, but I'm sure we can find it out. Uh, it seems like there might be a little bit of a frame rate issue that hopefully the V-Sync will fix. Occasionally, you'll encounter locked doors. To open them, you'll need special items, lockpicks, crowbars, fitting keys. Uh, summon the lockpick. Okay, good deal. I hope I'm not a lone survivor. Got to arm myself and find the rest. Okay. Throw? I kind of want to throw it. Just, it sounds a little bit uh, like the a fun, idea, fun idea to throw it. Toss it. Trails are fresh. Looks like everyone was taken somewhere. Seems like I was the only one to be left in the dungeon. That's strange. Can we like right click to context sensitive throw this? Okay, I'm just curious if we could. Like... Tomato. I mean, I don't know if I'm hungry. I can't tell. I don't know where this uh, this meter would be. Inventory. I would. I mean, like, I would guess it would be on like the character menu, but there it is. Hunger six percent. So okay. So climbing higher is uh, is what is bad. There. Out? Hello. You are dead. Fair, 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 fair. Stone shard is turn-based game where almost every action takes a turn. Enemies only act when your turn ends, so you can take your time to think your actions. If necessary, you can skip turns by pressing space. 
Approach him and press left mouse to trade blows. You can also inspect enemies to learn more about them. Okay. Hostile. Uh, gee, I think so. Uh, tasked with guarding you. He hasn't been doing a very good job so far. Gotcha. So, should I throw... Uh, can I throw a tomato? Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Let's, um... I wonder, can I get a clean line of sight to him? Oh. Shoot. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't throw it, but I'm also like... I'm trying to get a little bit of an advantage here, you know? We'll just pick the stuff back up. All right. Let me uh, let me get this stuff back. <laughs> let me get my pants and such. He doesn't have anything? Isn't that kind of hard to believe? Probably don't really need that. Can I just put them back on? <laughs> oh my god, that is a very Diablo sound effect there, and I dig it. All right, uh, yeah, okay. I'm just sad that we couldn't throw the tomato at him. Why is it, I mean, I don't think we want to put on the shackles, just like, just cuz. So I wonder if we could have attacked the door. Traps have been revealed, all that's left is to disarm it. Uh, easy enough, evade. It's also possible to try and evade a trap as you pass it, but it's a riskier option, more suitable for characters with high dodge chance. Better not to do it for now. Burn. Led to death. Such a foolish way to go. Looks like what? there is a trap. I have to take a look around unless I want to share his fate. Did you really death shame him? Bleeding out? What a lame way to go. What a foolish way to go, nerd. You'll often encounter hidden traps. You can discover them passively. The chance to... Uh, yeah, it just depends on your, your perception. Uh, whether there are traps... Within your vision, you can also use your basic skill examine surroundings that has been added to your hotbar. What does it take? Does it take... Guaranteed to reveal hidden traps within vision. Damn. Why wouldn't... I forgot about my do leg. All the time. Hurts more and more. I need to find Probably takes something an action. to treat the wound before it festers. Pain. Oh boy. All right, what do you got here? Peasant sash. Can we, like, tie it around our leg? That's All just these open. boxes will surely find something in them. Okay, not a lot we can actually... There we go. Whoa! Ether inhaler. Intoxication up, pain down. I mean... Just grab everything for now. What is this? A yeah, I was going to say a splint. Uh, okay, stops a body part from bleeding. How do we... Uh, oh. can use this to patch up my leg. I was working on that. Okay. Use on my right leg. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, probably should use the splints first. Lower your health, the higher your pain limit. Pain makes healing less effective and can even kill you if the number reaches high enough. You can get rid of it with a variety of painkillers, an ether inhaler, for, in for instance. So, sure. Ta -da! Most painkillers are toxic and will increase your intoxication. Intoxication detrimental to your character's condition and is incredibly dangerous if it reaches high numbers. Inject an antidote to get rid of it feel better, but your health is still low. The best way to restore health is to use rest mode, which is only available out of battle. Resting also accelerates your hunger and thirst gain, so it should be used sparingly. Oh my god, look at him just sitting. Am I in rest mode? I am. That's better. At least <laughs> I'll live. It's cute. Time to move. Great job. Now search the other crates. You can move the camera around with middle mouse button to examine large spaces. Gotcha. Highlight loot with alt. Okay. 
Nope. Shoes? Yes. Shoes, no shirt, though. Woo! Oh, boy. What are we going to want to use? I don't know. We're, we're probably not even going to be able to, like, move to the uh, actual game from here or not. Don't know. Two-handed scythe. Like, let's get an axe. Also get a bone arrow. Sure. I'll bring that too. Oh wait, we can have a second loadout too. Probably a good idea to have this. Unless this gives us a spell, which I don't think it does right now. Who needs clothes? It won't budge, it's locked from the other side. Oh. Why am I always one shot here? Do we have to like... Oh my god. Are you for real? Do we just suck at the bow and arrow? Is that what it is? You just leveled up. Each new level allows you to earn and learn a new ability and improve one of your attributes. You mostly get stronger requiring new abilities and finding better equipment and attributes have less distinct effect, slightly improving various aspects of your characters. Can hover over each attribute to learn. Is there anything? What makes me not shoot my uh, arrows super low? Uh, block chance up and body part damage up. Hands efficiency? Vision? Vitality? There, can I figure out what, um, why I'm so terrible? Oh, because the accuracy, <laughs> accuracy of a negative 75% is probably why there. Is accuracy anywhere on here? Does not appear so. Oh, wait, there we go. 1.5 accuracy and armor penetration. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious if we can get a little bit of bow and arrow action. A little bit of bow and arrow action. Each turn, you have a 1% chance to reveal properties of a random, unidentifiable item in your inventory. Okay. I mean, I thought it said... Okay, this is the other thing we get. Whoa! Let's go! Pyromancy? Geomancy? Let's see here. Ranged weapon? Requires ranged weapon and ammunition. I mean, like, yeah? So, do we do we have to start with basic skills? Because I'm pretty sure we already have these. Because nothing happens when I click these here. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's Maybelline. But it sure as hell is not letting me apply these. I was just trying to see if there's one specific one it wanted me to go for. Alright, well, we'll look into that in a second. But it's not letting me click nothing. Ooh, pyromantic. Ah, Let's go. Pyromantic treatise. Just like the good old times in the academy. Got to recall a spell or two. Okay, you can learn your freshly locked, unlocked abilities. Open your abilities when window, go to the, okay. I see, so we did not have the ability to learn how to do it yet? Okay, spend a point to learn the, okay. Open your ability window, find the pyromancy ability tree, gotcha, and spend a point to learn the fire barrage skill. I I bet I guess I've not read the book yet. You forgot to mention that part or maybe not. Yeah, it, it okay, sure. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, at least I'm not wild. Okay, he wants me to learn this spell, so sure I will learn that spell. Hello there. Launches a series of three firebolts at the target dealing 6 damage plus 50% damage to burning targets. Okay, well, you're out of range right now. <laughs> I've never hit a target with that. 
When I actually finally hit somebody. Ooh, baby. Got the f <laughs> fire. It's just so much better. Is that the issue? Did I really need to right click attack? Was I firing it at his feet? Is that what was happening? It's kind of surprising. I'm not going to read no lore right now, right now. Assuming this is the end of the tutorial. Perchance, perchance. An achievement there. Let's take a look. I'm assuming it'll say something along the line. Yeah. Okay. So we've completed the tutorial. All right. There's some diary pages. Just grab them. Bookcase. Geomance. Okay. Geomantic treatise. I've done it. I've learned. Okay. Didn't have the same pop-up, so I didn't know if I actually learned it or not. Identification scroll. I feel like we have, like, too much stuff. Okay, I'm going to put on this just because it's taking up inventory space right now. Scrolls are important. Allow a variety of interactions with your equipment. You may find I, yeah, okay, yeah, items with unknown properties. You can identify them. Some I unidentified items are cursed. Once you equip them, you can no longer let go of them until you lift it with a disenchantment scroll. Okay. Cool deal. Do they stack? They do not stack. This is a disenchantment scroll. Okay, another ID scroll. Probably an enchantment scroll. Come on, maybe we can make this bow better. What do we get? Six block power. Yeesh. What was in this bookcase? I don't know. Put some shackles in there. <laughs> we'll put some shackles in there. This tutorial is complete. You're on your own. Survive and find your way to the next floor. Remember, you are not a chosen one. Many of the enemies are just as powerful as you are. Be careful. Don't mindlessly charge ahead. Avoid fighting with multiple opponents at once. Try forcing one-on-one -on -one combat and use your surroundings. Let's go. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything special in here. I just kind of want to be uh, a little bit patient here. Do we, what's our food situation like? Our, uh, is there really no better place to have this? So I put it down to zero. Morale pretty high. Still don't know what this is. Healing salve. Health restoration up. Injury treatment up. Cool. Keep that. Don't know if we care about these uh, these pieces here. Okay. Okay. No, maybe we just maybe we just can't hit. Alright, uh, okay, if we can't hit you from this close, oh my god, we do not do Okay, it takes a turn to switch weapons as well. Okay, what is this? What, what just happened there? I don't know, we, we got something hit our left arm. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Enemy. Where? There we go. This is a long shot. Do I not have any arrows? I do. Okay, once they're in range of the fire, though, I feel like we really might as well. Let's go. Okay, we finally we did something with our bow and arrow that was not embarrassing. About dang time. Nobody in here? Lock. Do we have any lockpicks? We do. What is this? Stardust. Hmm. Okay. Uh, pain down. Get magic power cooldown down. Like, it's best to avoid abusing stardust when your sanity is low. It's a, uh, okay. It's a magic droog. I'm assuming this is better. Is there a quick way to, uh, compare? Really no quick way to compare? It's like it takes it, or I mean, and by that I mean it feels like it takes kind of a while for the box to come up. I know it's a minor thing, but for the box to come up, 
Bumble chance down, skills energy cost down. Durability is higher too. Let's just, I mean, sure. Sure, man. Part of me wants to go for it. What's the range on this? Is it any better? I would assume not. I don't know. I kind of maybe would like the sword and shield, but hey. But hey. We need to make sure we clean our inventory out. Are these useless now? I'm going to hope they are. Let's just say yes. Ooh. Okay. I succeeded. Wait, I could have failed at disarming a, uh, a pressure plate? Okay. Is that some kind of, like, magic effect that's just happening after their death there? So far, so fine. So far, so fine. A little bit of money in the wardrobe. Cup board. Nothing. Kind of want to put my shirt in there. I really... I, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like going, uh... On natural. Just trying to take a little bit of patient approach here. Kitchen knife. It's dull, but it can cut cheese. Take another disenchantment scroll. Honestly, I kind of want to disenchant my um, my bow just because I'm mad at it. Okay. Yagwazami kak. Oh! That was unexpected. So he's a, he's a magician. He's probably worse up close, you would have thought. Something's happening here to me. Adept is stunned. Is that me? Am I the adept? Adept? No. Oh, that was him. That was happening to him. The adept. Armor, Piercer, Traveling Dagger. I mean, actually, that does seem pretty good. Should I go back and get my shield? Or maybe we can uh, wield a sword and a dagger. I was just thinking, I don't know. There's something about a, a spear as a secondary weapon for a, like, a ranger kind of character that felt like it just makes sense. Apparently, we leveled up. I don't know when that happened. I am perceptive as hell. And by that, I mean my character. My character is perceptive as hell. Okay, so we can do this now. Taking aim. 63% accuracy, 10% weapon damage. It does take a turn, I would imagine, is kind of like the penalty for it. And five energy. Constant practice. Distance penalty to accuracy two times less impactful. Ooh. Passive effect. Minus cooldowns duration for this ability tree, plus three accuracy. That's good. Thrift makes bolts and arrows break 50% less often. That does sound really good, too. Distracting shot. Uh, I like the idea of taking aim, because that kind of... If you think about it this way, it helps with damage. It helps with reliability. And in a less direct way, it helps with ammo economy maybe more than that 50% would. You know, like just wasted shots. If they can break on the ground, especially. I don't know if they can or not. I don't know where we're headed. Is there a map? Hello there. Hello there. Ooh! How much man, man does that use? Just use five. 
Uh... What was this? Optimism! Hey! Uh, believing yourself is the most important thing. Apparently, I am optimistic. It's good to know. I should probably go get that shield. I think I left it actually in here. No. In here? Yes. Good stuff. Start with the bow and arrow. We want to switch to like a more melee build if we're going to be like peeking around sharp corners. Oh god, learning. Oh no, books. What's this? Swords treatise. Cool. We got a dagger on, I assume. Gaming dice may be of interest to some merchants. Okay. Athletics. Three. Ooh, no time to linger and elusiveness. Now, that seems kind of interesting. Combat mastery. It seems like it is going to... Oh, I thought it was going to teach us two things. Right on target and intimidation. Interesting. We'll look into that when we have uh when we've got points to spend. Okay, I was fully expecting someone to be in there, but okay. Good, good. You would like to have a snack. Well too bad, okay? I guess we really need to get out of here, huh? You, you, you need a snack? Have some water. Uh, sure. Is that where we came from? Oops. <laughs> I, I just did it. I beat the, I beat the tutorial. I am hungry. I am hungry indeed. I forgot where I came from. I've been here so long. The tremors are coming from upstairs. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up. Whatever it takes. Footman's sword. Ooh! Spell better. Yeah, I mean, it is. Like, compared to what the block power, I don't care. Happily take more arrows. 20 is the max that goes to. It's just better. What's this? Old contract. Okay. Bread! Antitoxin. What is this? Unidentified potion. Well, we have a chance to just identify it naturally, or we could... Energy burn. Burns energy. I bet you we can... If this is, you know, going by classic roguelike vibes, we can probably throw this potion at an enemy, too, so... Pot. Cool. Slowly but surely... Good. Oh, let's go. Adept can't move. <laughs> now he really can't move. Can we, uh, I'm curious. I can. I mean, that's pretty fun looking. We got, we got trash out the wazoo though. I've received stagger. 
physical counter chance, crit chance, block chance, power, dodge chance, fumble chance. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm going to try and lure them onto the trap. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is he casting something? He's getting ready to cast something, I think. Uh, he's got some kind of buff on it. He's healing. Ah, I was going bold. He's not doing anything, though. Okay. Are you for real? Why are you Why are you running? You're you are confusing me. What a strange man you were. What a strange man. That guy was peculiar. With his teeth and his claws. Uh, causes bleeding but reduces intoxication. Um, I don't know about that. I don't think I want to have that right now. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Wait, oh, he can make, he can actually make passes at me. Uh, not good. Let's think here. Is this worth it? It's worth it if I can set him on fire. Yeah, this is not good. Unidentified dagger, though? Kind of schnice. Block power up. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe add something. Trash it. I don't care about my friend's sword. He means nothing to me. Should we heal a little? Let's check out our. our okay, we're actually doing okay. How do I? Hmm. Okay, so this is much more for uh, treatment. Gotcha. Of an actual injury itself. Understood. This helps with pain. It doesn't help with... There's not a lot that's actually giving health restoration here, unless I'm misunderstanding. Hmm. Do we slowly recover over time? That seems far too generous to be true. Stop it. Okay. Cover. Nothing. Let's ditch it. We need to get to the uh, the open world. Hey, wait. Speaking of, I think we maybe we made it there. Add its note. I can't read. Uh. Varen, you are alive. Not while you can. No, uh. don't leave us here. Please, make it stop. Ah, an uninvited guest. We were hoping to save you for last. But since you came here willingly... So, you are the one behind all this madness. 
You'll pay for everything. How arrogant! Look around you. It's over. Soon both the stone shard and your souls will serve the higher purpose. Still, the court appreciates your courage. You could serve us well. Put down your weapons. And perhaps we'll spare your life. Not this time, abomination. Well then, <laughs> we show you mercy. And yet you reject our gifts. Let the ritual begin! I can't do anything here. Okay. So... <laughs> Very dangerous, unaware. Range target area marks an area. Next turn pours a puddle of boiling blood on it. Four unholy damage, four caustic damage. Some of the restless. Oh no. Oh no. Can I knock over a statue onto him? Is that. Are you telling me that's like what I'm supposed to do? That'd be super cool if so, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, because the statues are actually. Gotcha. Well, I'm toast. Oh, no. This is stupid. Doesn't do anything. So you buffed this up. You buffed this up in some way. I'm thirsty. Now's not the time! Okay, so next turn, there's going to be blood there. Oh my. I'm in pain. Are you for real? That was not the time to miss that. Okay. I'm a little bit intoxicated. That's okay. I'm also a little thirsty. I'm dead. I mean, I feel like I'm dead no matter what here. I'm also on fire. <laughs> I mean, it, okay, the statue looks like it can break, but I, yeah, I'm dead. Almost certainly. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead here. Oh, wait, I got healed? Wait, what? Okay. What the hell, man? Barely helping me out, even though. Incoming problem. I should not be alive. Kinda not really, no. Uh, but if it'll help, then yes, absolutely. If confidence uh, helps, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> this really does not do very much. Yeah, it's not even healing me, really. Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't get it. All right. It's fine. Okay. That was with the buff up there. So that's a bummer. 
Okay, I can attack that. Good. Get you out of here. For real? You missed the melee? You are dead. Yeah, I mean, I gotcha. Totally valid. Totally valid. I feel like we went into that with a gnarly situation to, to begin with there. That's brutal. I dig it. Okay. All right. Well, we, we uh, I think we can do better now. Like, a lot better. Like, a lot better. We could also go in having done Droog already. We could try that out. I'll check our health. Our health is mostly fine here. Like, does this... Yeah, that restores our max. It does not restore very much here. Healing cell. What happens if we merge? Nothing. If a selected body part is injured, Salve's healing efficiency is reduced by 50%. That implies I can use it on a part that's not injured. <laughs> Help my brain. It's very sick, please. Injury treatment. We don't need injury treatment. We just need straight up health. So, okay. Okay. So we really can just wait. It just takes a long time. That's why I wasn't noticing it, because it's every seven turns. Okay, um, let us get ourselves a little bit of that block power up. But we're gonna just um, get ready here. Okay, so I see that on the ground now. I did not see that last time. Okay, that did a little bit. You can just step. Oh no! You got. Oh, come on. Okay, he's on here. got a decent amount of health left. I wish we could move down here. If I move here, he's going to move there. Okay. This situation kind of just sucks. Come on. Are you for real? Well, of course I'm going to die now. Okay. Swap over. There we go. Got to redo this. That's okay. It's worth it. Good. That seems bad, seems bad, seems bad, seems bad, man. Okay. All right, we good, we good, we good. I'm going a little wild on this because I feel like we can... Uh, Get him here. Oh, no. Terrible miss. A wretched miss. Is it because we're going diagonal that that hits me before we leave? Or is di going diagonal on it, like... Yeah, it's not good. lure or not okay weird call here but I think we can do it good we kind of like got a little bit of a blockade here no again I I do not you know it's wild that you think that I think that I can 
in fact. That's truly where we're at as far as how inept I actually think I am. Oh, this is not good. This is bad. It's not good, it's bad. Okay, sitting in the middle feels like it makes good sense here. Okay, nothing spawning. Because the right side is what is responsible for all of the spawning. I understand. Okay, so yeah, maybe the diagonal is the reason why we're taking sometimes seeming like we're taking damage. Are we out of arrows? We actually are on track to do this. I thought for sure there was going to be a little goose goose spot that was going to be underneath me there. <laughs> I'm toast. Sounds good, man. All right, all right, all right. Mercy, what a foul beast! What if we just like run? <laughs> kill the Archon. We do have to kill him. Uh, about that. Um, I feel like he's going to start moving towards me. <laughs> About this. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how we handle this. I guess the magic bolts... That seems like a move we can get in for free. And then he moves towards us. He does that. We could, if we had the bow and arrow, I mean, we, we do, we can get an attempted shot there, but it's just not really worth it. Oh, I thought that was the charge. Uh-oh. Well, that is the charge. No! I didn't mean to switch weapons! Okay, we're still fine. Okay. Not good. Probably should have gone diagonal. We need to be careful, otherwise the, uh, we're gonna get hit by the pew. Well, this doesn't help us much because we do not have our melee weapon out. Very interesting. So we want to make him charge into the pew. Incredible. Oh my god. This is just like the... Well, this is not good. There's nothing I could have done to not get hit by that. Okay. Charge hit me. That's probably not going to count. Nope. Not good. This should be a free hit, though. That's the good thing. He's gonna charge at me. It's not really gonna be anything I can do anything about. It's fine. Yeah, not good. We have our fire blast. We can do. He's gonna do a charge here, but it's gonna. I keep on hitting W inappropriately here. It's okay. We got our bow and arrow in, out now, which is probably for the best. Yeah. 
charge, fool. Charge, you fool. Great. <laughs> we have, like, one chance to do jack squat there, and we miss. I feel like this might be in our way. Maybe we don't even want the bow and arrow. Son of a gun. God, he keeps on healing. I mean, we got to be running out of corpses a little bit, right? Is there some kind of secret thing here? I mean, I would almost think that the, the pew situation is the secret. This ain't great. Yeah. See, that's the thing. That's. I think it might be a bait to go for... Um... Oh. To go for the extra hit there. Oh, my God. Are you for real? I could have sworn that would have counted. Yeah, we kind of want to be at a diagonal. Want to lure him away from that body. Don't you dare hit my pew. Oh my god! So we can't really do anything from here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Does this count? No. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Charge at me. Charge at me. Charge at me, you square. Oh, he's just breaking it. I deserve that. That was... This is brutal. Wait. Oh, my God. This is no joke. This is no joke. Uh, well, so that I feel like is pretty telling about how brutal it is here. Holy crap, man. Uh, can we do that? Yeah, absolutely, I think we can. Um, I feel like... It's not very conducive to uh, uh, the bow and arrow unless we never take out our sword and always go for the charge sma charge blast, which I think that we could do. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to call it here, but, um, you know, it, it's very... I'll admit, I really want to give it another go. Uh it is hardcore, it is brutal, of course, like, this is just, we've just got past, like, the tutorial aspect, we're, like, barely even in the open world run aspect here. Very neat, very, very neat. Uh, but alas, uh, if you want more of uh, uh, Stone Shark, you know, first of all, one, you can pick it up for yourself, there's a link at the top of the description. Else, uh, maybe we'll do a series when it comes out in 1.0. Maybe we'll do something like that then. Let me know. That is that, though. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. I cover indies and roguelikes every single day. This is... This is... They, they throw you right in, and I, I actually kind of adore it for that. You know? They're, I can't speak to the open world aspects of the game right now, because nothing we saw here today really implies the open world and roguelike aspects of it since we're continually doing you know the same sort of just here but let's uh let's do this for a second i want to try one thing let's try let's see what a standard adventure looks like just in the beginning here so here i am the caravan oh is my. gone my leg is crippled half my men are dead and the other half are deserters and traitors the host be praised at least I've got the stone shard. Well, there we go. I guess we figure out how it if how I it ends. I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what. I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. 
I'm too old for an adventure like this. Ah, only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not up to going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? Well, time to return the favor. Damn, it's been so long. Tell me, what have you been up to? There we go. Select the character. I see, I see. So we can even create a character not available in the beta. So that'll be a thing that will hopefully be out in the 1.0, one would think. Is that so? Interesting. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. So here's the deal. I can't walk to Bryn with my leg like this. So unless you plan to carry me, we need a cart. We need horses. We're in luck, though. While you were away, I had a talk with the village elder. We came to an agreement. We'll do a couple of tasks for them. And they'll give us a cart and two horses. Don't worry about the job. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my advice on how to deal with brigands or the undead. The Elder will give you the details. You should go see him right away. No time to waste. Ah, I almost forgot. You can also ask the I, innkeeper. I'm gonna... All right. So, yeah, there we go. So, this is our typical thing here. To save the game, you need to rent a room in a tavern sleep for any amount of time. Exiting the game saves your progress as well. However, it's deleted upon loading. If you die while playing in standard, you can resume from your save. In permadeath mode, your saves are irreversibly erased on death. All right. Well, yeah, so there we go. There, There's a, a little bit more of a clean aspect uh, of what the full, more uh, typical roguelike mode might entail, specifically. But, yeah, we get a full-on open world here. Uh, you know, this is going to be what you're more likely going to be experiencing. For most of it, though, I'm sure that there are going to be more climactic fights like that. Otherwise, uh, why the hell would it exist? But, yeah. There we are. I want to I wanna get killed. I feel like that's what I want to do. I want to go go deep into the forest and get murdered right off the bat here. Hello? Someone? Someone kill me so I can end my video? <laughs> kill me! There's no one for miles. We have our map. Okay. Yeah, there's that. It, it is, this is like the more more of the open world aspect. But seeing, I, I'm happy we did the the very brutal tutorial esque thing there. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was not gonna hit, uh, because yeah, it shows the more mechanical strengths of the game as well. But this is this is the uh, zone that you would be applying them in, so it's worth seeing as well for sure. You got the whole kind of world at your disposal here. But alas, alas. That is that, though. Uh, I'd, I'd be excited to check this out when it comes out in 1.0. If you guys are excited and interested, let me know down below. I cannot find someone to murder me for the life of me. Uh, no pun intended. Hey, there we go. Skinning. Wait. Get it, boys. Wait, really? You think you'd like that? <laughs> We're not very good at throwing it at them, are we? <laughs> I think I, I think I filled their thirst. But alas, alas, there we go. That is that. That is going to do it for today here on Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This has been Stone Shard. You can pick it up right now if you want. Uh, there is going to be a link at the top of the description you can pick up the game for. Let me get the price here. Apparently there's an update as we literally speak this moment. Uh, it is out now. You can pick it up for $19.99. There's currently no sale or nothing going on. But I, uh, you know, I would imagine, like, if you want to pick it up for yourself, I would keep an eye on it. Like, follow it. And take a look, especially around the 1.0 release. I'm sure that there's going to be some kind of sale around then. But if you like what you saw super, like, like a lot get it now you know it's uh it's got a full game to it 
I, you can check it out right now, or you can uh, wait for 1.0, which I would imagine is not going to be way too far off. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. Like and comment if you enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.